Hey guys, welcome back. I've got Dave again. He hey went to pick up this tractor for me mm -hmm. and he's going to tell us here in a few seconds what happened. Mm -hmm. So tell us what happened, Dave. Well, I just got back. Um, <clears throat> Don had sent me out here to try and diagnose an issue with this lawn tractor not starting. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a little bit of experience with lawn tractors. I'm still, you know, Don has 15 here. Yeah, you're more into the chainsaws. That's more yeah, your expertise. Yeah, small engines, eh? but yeah. I'm, like, I'm trying to expand my yeah. horizons here yeah. a little bit. And um, so I think it's got a couple issues, uh, the, the starter. But um, what issue did you have, like? Right, I feel kind of dumb asking this actually. Uh, don't worry. This is a, uh, this tractor has a hydrostatic transmission, so yeah. um, not your your old school traditional gearbox, right? You've got, uh, yeah. you've got the, the brake here. And the question is, I, I know how to operate the brake, the parking brake, right? With yeah. The, with the lever here. But this tractor is hard to push. It is. And we, I was trying to push it onto the trailer. I had the other guy helping me. It won't start, I'm trying to push up the trailer. Because I remember, sorry, I'm just gonna interject yeah, here, but yeah. you sent a text, you were looking, yeah. you were asking me where's the neutral on this machine. Right, and because it's a hydrostatic transmission, I understand it doesn't have your normal your normal neutral, right? So yeah. Yeah. is there a way to quickly disconnect the transmission from the drive line to make it easier to push around if Abs you're having an issue? Absolutely, Dave. Okay, where, where am this I is so simple. But you know, no question's a dumb question, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you give me a bit of a hard time about it. Yeah. Okay, Dave, here's the simple answer to this. Okay. Come to the back. Oh, it's gonna I'll be it's gonna be right in plain sight, isn't it? It is. So uh -oh. now if you had read the if you read the manual when you buy a tractor, you would know this. Okay, well I didn't read the, have the time in the but guy's it's driveway. Okay. okay. It's okay, Dave. All right. yeah. So all you have to do is pull on the pin. It unlocks oh, look. the hydrostatic transmission. That's me right there. Yeah, that was you. That's here. me here, there. But that's that's me there trying to push the. Okay. You see that? Well, this one shows you're riding it with the pin pushed in. Yeah. Pin pushed out. You can move, uh, <laughs> easily move it. Just take a shot here, Dave. I'm just going to move it quite easily. Okay, hold on. So. Yeah. Got it. When the pin is pulled like this, Dave, yep. if you sit on the tractor and try to drive off. Right. Nothing's gonna happen. Okay, it'll still start though? Yeah. Okay. You're kind of like putting it in neutral. Okay. So watch how easy it is to push it out. Jeez. And you don't hear that transmission noise. So okay. If I push it back in. Yep. So it still goes, but there's resistance. Yeah. Okay. You see that? Yep. So that's all there is to it. Sometimes, uh, this pin might be under the seat. Okay. You know, on older tractors, it's under the seat. You just move the pin. Okay. I've seen the pin on other tractors be right here. Okay. Okay, so if you buy a new machine, just look at the owner's manual. It's going to tell you where that is. Okay. Um, but if you're not sure, if you don't have the manual, just look around for a pin. Because if you have a hydrostatic tractor, mm -hmm. there's no neutral setting anywhere. Okay. okay. Parking brake, uh, your drive pedals, yep. sometimes it's an arm for the drive pedal. So you should always have this in park with the brake on when you stop then if there's no, like there's no parking setting, you have to have that actuated, is that right? Yeah, like if, if you're going to park it on an incline or decline, yeah, right. you, should, you should put the brake on because it could slow. Roll away, roll. right. Whereas the older machines that were manual you could lock it into gear kind of like a, a manual yeah. car yeah. or pickup and it wouldn't move in if you didn't have the parking brake on but as a safety precaution just put the parking brake on this one here Dave you, yep. just, you just push down the clutch pedal and yep. the brake pedal uh, and then you would I think this is messed up <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sounds like that. Uh, this, this one's disconnected. Got some work to do. Another repair, yeah. There we go. So that's all there is to it, Dave. Okay. Uh, yeah, it must have been hard for you to get it on the Yeah, trailer. save me some sweat next time knowing where that pin is, so I appreciate that. I might put a winch on the trailer so that if you get a dead tractor, you can just winch it up. Okay. Okay. That's how you'll solve this problem instead of me uh, learning the proper way to do it so okay awesome but it's part of your training <laughs> i've done it i've been there done it sounds good awesome thanks buddy okay. appreciate it all right dave so sounds good eh? lesson learned yeah it'll be easier next time appreciate that 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe to both our channels. All the links are below. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Have a great day, guys. Take care.